guys, it's Beverly. I, I've been sitting around, yeah, right. I've been doing some crochet and I've been thinking, should I do a video? Do I have anything to say? No, I don't have anything to say. But then I started piling up what I actually been doing and I went, I have something to say. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the Crochet World Magazine, it just now came in the mail. 26 warm and inviting fall patterns. Welcome autumn. So this is August, whatever, and autumn is here. This is October 2022. Um... With richly colored designs for autumn, crochet cables made easy, 10 beautiful projects, creative and fun costumes. So, the reason I'm showing this to you is just so you can decide if you want to stop by and get it. Now remember, when you go shopping and you do see these magazines, on the very, you know, kind of last page, it shows you the patterns that are in this edition so if you fall in love with one and you just have to buy it you just have to buy it that's what i'm saying <laughs> oh and there's a table runner i just bought a pattern for a table runner and i'll be showing you that in an upcoming video okay so let's open this up so the first pattern in here is of course there's advertising oh the first oh it's not a well, it's kind of big what is it a striped kitchen set dish cloth dish towel so i guess that's a dish towel so we'll cover up the pattern down here at the bottom so you can see the dish cloth dish towel and let's see, of course it's probably made with cotton. It's Premier, Premier, Premier Home Cotton. And the H hook. And that purple color is Passion Fruit. Gray, which is pewter. And cream. That's what that other color is. Okay, that's pretty cool. See the three Passion Fruit, fruit and whatever. Okay, the next one is Milk and Honey Blanket. It's a number three with Premier Anti-Pilling Decay. Two lovely colors combined with cross stitch. And an easy to memorize pattern. Yeah, that cross stitch is not that hard. Because you just do a double. Then you skip. And then you... Go back and do a, du a double in the skit. And I don't know that I do it, it you know, with the cross in, in the front or the back. But when I did cross stitch, counted cross stitch, I think I did it the opposite of everybody anyway. But it, it always came out pretty. But there's the pattern. I don't know if you can see. There's a little texture. The next one is a shawl, and it's out of DK Weight, Barocco. Pretty cool. It's like fans. Um, let's see. Where's the stitches? Because those, I don't know if those are doubles or triple. That's what I was trying to figure out. I guess they're doubles. So, that's pretty. See, so you got the openings and stuff. And then she's got it wrapped like that. A touch of style. What's the next pattern? Ooh, it's that blanket that's on the front cover, you guys. You know, I think there's a trend. An autumn stall starburst afghan with red heart super saver i think there's a trend to make crochet blankets that look like quilts and i like that i like that 
So what do you have to do? You have to make 48 squares. 48 blocks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's more about the milk and honey. Autumn Flash Mug Rug. That's kind of cool. Autumn Flash Mug Rug. It's made with number 10 cotton crochet thread. Nah, I don't think I'll be making it. <laughs> Ooh, now here's a table runner. This one is called Bees and Sunflowers Runner. And this is made out of that number 10 cotton thread. And this table runner, what's the size? 16 and a half by 42. The runner I'm making is coming, it's supposed to be 17, but it's coming out 12. I guess I must crochet small, um, tighter or something, because I use the same number of stitch. She's got a number four weight yarn, but I'll be talking about that in one of the other videos. Okay, so this is the squares. Now there was, what was it called? Um, I don't know how to say that word, but this is part five. And again, it's using that 10 count thread and it's squares of an afghan. See? I don't know. You can't really warm up with that, can you? Oh, now this is cute. This is a, again, made with thread. Now this is a, a free downloadable treat pattern bowl, bowl pattern. And that's kind of cool. You could make that out of worsted weight and just download the pattern. So if you want to download the pattern, it's available on their website. It's at H H tatting t-a-t-t-i-n-g and you can make that bowl um down free downloadable mini treat bowl and you could do it in worsted that would be something new you know in your holiday your halloween decor now the next one here is a doily there's a lot in here for this tin thread you know I don't know if it's too many in here with tin thread. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, now there is two little, a boy and a girl, and they have magic wands. The magic wand is made with that number 10 thread. Do we want that many number 10 thread patterns? Okay, now there is one here with number five bulky. It is a wizard spell magic cape for your kid to go with the magic wand. See, there's the cape. There's the kid. He's holding the magic wand. <laughs> now... Ooh, it's a crown. Royal Play Crown. So this is a crown for someone who wants to play a king for Halloween. Um, it's made with King Cole number four. So here he is. He's dressed as a king. There's the crown. Okay, and this is a lion headband. Wow, Premier Basic Chunky. She's roaring. I can't say that word, you guys. Roaring like a lion. The headband is crocheted from the center outwards in two halves. Oh, 
boy has ears. You can see the ears. Oh yeah, you can see the ears. See there's the ears. And then all these curly cues is its mane. You guys, I'm not liking this book. <laughs> this is a monster hat. Is there another picture? No. Monster hat, you guys. Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti Pilling Number Four. I don't know. Okay, now we're getting into our stuff. Okay, Earth Upsala. <laughs> I can't say it. Cable Hat. Cable Hat. Cable hats are a winter staple. Coupling the cables with the yarn, like puzzle. Oh, this is made with Premier Puzzle. Makes for a visual interest accessory of which no two are exactly alike. That's true. So you use one skein of number five bulky Premier yarn puzzle, and you make a hat. So obviously you have to color control it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now we're into cabled hot pads. Everyone needs a set of hot pads or pot holders in their kitchen. Oh, and so the um, designer has a video. She has a YouTube channel, Bonnie Bay Crochet. So here is the pot holders or hot pads. And they are made with Lily's sugar and cream. And this color is Jade Mist. So I don't know if you're picking up the Jade Mist color. Now we're getting into fingerless gloves made with Plymouth Yarns, number four, worsted. Oh, they have kind of a thumb. That's, this is different. See how her thumb is? I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn it around. See how her thumb is? It's encased. Because a lot of these, you just stick your thumb out, you know? Here's another picture. That's why I noticed it. See how her thumb is like sticking out right there so that is different and does it say cables yes cables oh now this is good we're getting better here and here's a cabled headband Plymouth Encore with a size it's a three light so they used an F so here's See, that's pretty cool. Okay. And here's a Magic Beans Lap Gan. Now, the measurement for this Lap Gan is 41 by 46. Okay. So, just, you know, as a reference point, those of you that want to make Lap Gans. So, there is the picture and again it's cables so that's kind of a theme for a portion of this book and it's made with king cold and a book bulky number five and they're using an in and nancy so they had a section on just threads okay no i'm getting it then they had a kid section then they had a section of beginner and now we're into the cable section Okay, again we're in cables, and this is a basket. This stunning basket is crocheted from the center out, which utilizes post stitches and gives you a 3D star design. Now I'm not really sure, is there another picture of it? I'm not sure how this kind of works. See the pic, see that? They're showing you, I don't know, is that the bottom of the basket, is that the, I don't know. 
I do do trebles. Um, and this is using hemp teak, like boutique, but hemp teak. Number five, hemp cord. Gardening hemp cord. A size L. And they want you to have a piece of cardboard. It does have sides. So you start out with the sides of the basket. Hmm. No. Oh, star basket. Optional for stability. I don't really much understand how this works. Because it's got a picture here. See this? This is inside the pattern. And they're showing you about the piece of cardboard. Is there a picture on the back of this? No, the only picture down here on this page where it shows everything is showing that. I don't know if that's like the basket you know and that's like one side of it I don't know somebody make that <laughs> let me know okay let's go back to the pit about where we were that's kind of weird can't really tell that's kind of weird okay now there's a poncho okay so here's the poncho you guys and the poncho is made with Red Heart Super Saver, number four, and it uses a J hook. And it has puff stitches, uh, front cross stitches. And it, again, it's in the cable section. And you do back post, front post. And it's got that collar. Do you see that stand up collar? That's cool. That's cool. A soft brushed yarn. So what does it say? Red Heart Super Saver brush. Ooh, you guys, this is a pattern for that brush. You know, I haven't bought any of the brush. Comes in five ounce skeins. And it says... Seven? Oh, it's got two sizes. This pattern is, is for two sizes in them. One side, size you use seven skeins, and the other side, other size you use eight skeins, and it, the color this is is mink. That might be pretty nice. Oh, size the two X, you guys. It's good. Now we're into Tuscan. Tunisian. I'm so sorry. Tunisian. It's cables. Now, I'm going to show you the pattern. Number six. Number six, super bulky. Burnett, softy, chunky, super bulky. With a in hook. They're recommending 13 balls, and this color is forest. The throw is worked from written instructions and a chart. Hmm. Gently curving, continuous cables stitched with soft, bulky yarn are used to create this visibly stunning textured cable throw. Wow. Okay, here's a close-up of the of the pattern. Ooh, look at it. I know I didn't do this. I didn't do Tuscan long enough to get my tension going right. More cables. I'm not telling you guys the name of these patterns because I can't pronounce them. <laughs> this one is a wrap. To keep track of row count, place a stitch marker on the edge of the first row and 
every repeat. This is very pretty. This is a wrap. This luxurious wrap looks like it's traveled straight from the Aran Islands. Ooh, look at that, you guys. That is gorgeous. This, like I said, oh, it's number four. It's Premier Premium Tweeds. J-Hook. Five skeins of a seven ounce acrylic and visco yarn. That is absolutely gorgeous. How big is it? 20 and a half by 70 inches long. That is very nice, you guys. Two by two cable poncho. I'll give you the name of this pattern. See it right there. At first I thought it was Irish, but it's an N instead of an R. <laughs> okay. After you've been on YouTube and you got criticized, you don't chance stuff. Now this is pretty. This is a two by two cable poncho. Okay. And it says that one size fits most, 38 inches wide by 20 inches long. So you're probably doing, you know, 40 inches or whatever. And then putting it over your shoulder. Wow, there is some different stitches in this, you guys. Okay, let's read them. There is a parchment. You use an eye crochet hook, so it's crochet. It's an intermediate pattern. Now, if you guys remember, I did an intermediate pattern on one of these books. And they took a lot of stuff for granted. So, when you go to do an intermediate pattern, not every single word is spelled out for you. They take for granted some things, okay? That you already know. Okay. The first, you're, you're doing a parchment back post treble. Never heard of it. A canyon back post treble. Treble, treble. A canyon front post treble. A parchment front post treble. Parchment two stitch front post treble left. Left. <laughs> Gross. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is gorgeous. So let me hold this up closer so you guys can actually see how it is. See how that is? Wow. It's beautiful. Try something new and fun with this interesting cabled poncho featuring two row repeat and contrasting colors. Premier Yarn Eversoft and Premier Yarn Spun Colors. Oh, it has Merino. The Spun Colors has Merino in it. Okay. Merino Rule. Okay, so this is the, the back. Here's an up-close personal look at that. Remember that poncho with the neck? I already showed you this picture. This is the basket. So somehow or another, you guys got to make that basket and show it to you. And you guys are saying, why don't you make it and show it to us? True. And then, of course, on the back is all of the pans I showed you. And that's it. So this is the Crochet World, October 2022. Welcome to Autumn Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. I saw some things I turned my nose up at, and I saw some things that I went, ooh. Okay, guys. Love you. Bye. Take care. Have fun.